that goal is not going to happen with your one shot at it. Look at your goals like a tree. In order for you to knock a tree down, you have to literally hit that tree in the same spot over and over and over again until it comes crashing down. You cannot hit that tree in different spots thinking that that tree is gonna fall. That tree is only gonna fall if you hit it in the same spot over and over and over again, making it so weak that eventually it falls. That is the same with the enemy and your heart and your spirit and your soul. The enemy who comes to steal, kill, and destroy is trying to knock you down, is trying to keep you down, is trying to take your soul by hitting you in the same spot over and over and over again. That will be your heart. So that's why so many of us harden our hearts or get cold hearts because we're tired of being hurt. My friend, just release those demons out of your life. Just move those demons out of your life. Stop letting those demons hit you in your heart. Stop letting those demons hurt you. There's other people that have heart like you. There's other people that have loyalty like you. There's other people that have life and love and liberty like you. Those people will be attracted to you once you start being your true self, your authentic self. You can't lie because why? Energy don't lie. People do. So your attraction to you will happen. You just have to authentically be you and change who you truly are. Stop letting the devil, your adversary, your op hit you in your heart over and over and over again, trying to keep your soul dead, trying to keep you dead, trying to keep you in lower energies, frequencies, and vibrations, trying to keep you in your lowest self when you're not that person anymore when you're not that person anymore. So here is some motivation to you changing your life for the better and you being your highest self and you staying with God's plan and purpose for your life, chasing your goals and dreams, knocking that tree in the same spot every single day so you can accomplish the new person that you're trying to be. Your potential self is infinite, is infinite. You can be and do and go and manifest anything you want to in this world. The only way it does not happen is because one person is fake and false flagging and they really not putting in that action or work. Or two, you're staying stuck in lower energies, frequencies, and vibrations, doing things, being around people, staying stuck in environments that you no longer need to be in because you have grew up out of that. Move around, my friend. May you create a peaceful harmony as your life's purpose. Everything should be peaceful. Nothing should be super stressful. Nothing should be so overwhelming that you cannot handle it because God don't put more on you that you can bear. Literally, there will be hard days though. There will be days where you in the valley, where you getting them tests, trials, and tribulations because how else will God know you're ready for the next level or the next step? If you're not tested, come on now, we got to go through things, but be at peace through it all, knowing that nothing happens by chance. Everything happens for a reason and everything is happening for you. So you can potentially be your highest self with a peaceful purpose. Be guided. Listen to the whispers of the universe. God speaks through people, animal, shapes, numbers, seasons, reasons, environments, the universe. If you're really a child of God, you will see, you will see energy. You won't see people. You will see spirits. You won't see people. That's why you can love somebody so much, but they have a negative spirit in them and you have to let them go. You have to release them. You have to let them be out there with the wolves, with the dogs, with the, with the, with the, narcissist with the psychopath you gotta let them be out there with them demons with them demons them people that enjoy them vices you gotta let them go if you want to save your soul your spirits and be have god's spirits the holy spirit in you you have to let all demons go no matter who they are mama daddy auntie uncle sister cousin brother friend 
boyfriend, girlfriend, ex, it, it don't matter. Let them go. You are the master of your judgments, your decisions, and your actions. Your judgment, your decisions, and your actions. Nobody else is responsible for you. So when you're making up excuses, condoning other people's negative behaviors, or even condoning your negative behaviors, because you're not telling yourself the truth. And if you don't require yourself to tell the truth, how are you going to require anybody else to tell the truth? That sounds like a hypocrite. Yeah. So you are the master of your decisions, of your judgments, of your actions. So take heed into loving yourself first, wholeheartedly, not this mask and fake stuff, wholeheartedly. Because if we was to tell a thousand good people, God people, about what's really going on and what you really have done, that's how you repent of your sins anyway. Letting, letting people know of your sins. Like telling people your testimony. That that's how you that's how you get it out. That's how you heal. You gotta you gotta let people know, teach people from your mistakes, teach people from what you've done wrong. That's what you got to do. Accept who you are in this moment, but acknowledge who you want to become. You have to manifest your future you, the higher you, the better you, the more knowledgeable you, the more loving you, the more caring you, the less hurt you. You have to acknowledge all that. Why would my healed self why would my healing self, why would my better self, why would my high self listen to anybody in lower energies, frequencies, and vibrations? Why? Why Going to work, that is not an actionable excuse about you being a poor excuse of a person and condoning negative behavior. Why would my higher self listen to a person that has not done any healing work? Any healing work, you going to work, you stuffing your face and nose into work is not healing you. It is a distraction from you having to do the healing work, feeling all the pain, all the hurt, all the trauma that you caused somebody else and also caused yourself because you did not know. You did not know. That's okay. People will forgive you, but will you forgive yourself? The principal ingredient to life is love, y'all, is love. If you cannot truly love, you haven't truly tapped into God's energy because God is love and love is God. If your heart is hardened, if your heart is cold, if you're sitting there lying, stealing, killing, and destroying, distracting yourself, keeping yourself in lower energies, frequencies, and vibrations, doing bogus things to people that you so-called love, you are not tapped in with love. You are tapped in with your demon. You are tapped in with your ego self. You are tapped in with physicality. You are tapped in with lower frequencies and energies and vibrations. In that case, stay away from people that are doing the work. That is healing because you're only trying to bring them down. And these people see that and they don't got time for that. The principal ingredient to life is love. And if you truly don't have love, stay away from me. Besides, love is the highest of all virtues. Again, if you can't tap into love, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not boast. Love is not envy. Love is not rude. Love is not a liar. Love is not a thief. Love is not somebody putting on a mask and trying to act like somebody that they're not. That's not love. None of that is love. Love is the highest of all virtues. Once you truly tap into love, because energy don't lie, people do, you will see the universe different. You will see people different. You will see animals different. You will see the universe different. You will actually see God and God working. You will see God in everything. 
We all are one consciousness creating this universe together. But you have some people that have done further healing work than others. So they can see more than others. They can see from a higher mountain than others. But you'll have people, instead of being happy for you, clapping for you, try to tear you down, try to bring you down, try to throw you off the mountain, try to they can't physically get up there and throw you off. So they literally want to, they want you to jump off. They want you to jump off the mountain. They want to tag you so bad in that same spot where you can't take life no more. Let them people go. Let them red flags go. Let them red flags go. Go towards that green energy. Rule your mountain. Stay on top of your mountain. Only people worth having in your life is them people that do the work that actually can get on top of the mountain. And ain't nobody getting on top of the mountain if they don't got God in them, period. On the people that have physical manifestations or is in physicality, have material possessions, trust me, they not on top of the mountain. They just receiving things at the bottom of the mountain to make them look like they're at the top of the mountain because that's how the devil works. The devil will play tricks on your mind. <laughs> the devil will play tricks on your eyes. So the devil will give you a whole bunch of stuff at the top of the mountain because the devil don't want you to go to the top of the mountain because why? The devil cannot hurt you at the top of the mountain. The devil cannot get to you. If you in your higher frequency energies and vibrations, be in your highest self. So the devil will send people that you love, people that's inside of your heart to try to bring you down. If them people ain't in their highest frequency energies and vibrations. And these people will try to bring you down because of the demonic spirits inside of them. But again, they can't come to the top of the mountain, so they want you to jump off your mountain to come down to their level. Don't do it, my friend. Don't do it. Without gratitude, there is no prosperity. It don't matter how much material possessions you gain. Without you being thankful and grateful for everything that you go through in life, the good and the bad, knowing that it all happens for you, there is no prosperity. You will never see the good in anything, meaning you're just an ungrateful, ungrateful person. And why would God keep blessing you with more if you're not even grateful for what you have now? And you don't even take care of what you have now. God's not going to keep blessing you with more. God's not going to let you walk up that mountain to where when them floodwaters, when them floodwaters come or that fire get to burning everybody ass, <laughs> they can't come on your mountain. They can't get up the mountain. They stuck down there. Let them be stuck down there. At the beginning and end of the day, let your energy be used to build, not destroy. To build, not destroy. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, y'all. At the beginning and end of the day, you make decisions every single day of your life. Let your decisions be to build you up, build your life up, build your family, build your home up, build your heart up. Stop letting things try to tear your heart down. Try to tear that tree down within you. Trees down and stop worrying about them back there that you left behind. Leave them behind. If they don't want to do the work, if they don't want to do what's right, that is on them. So go out there and hit that tree down every day in the same spot and over and over and over again. And trust me, you will reach your goals. It all matters. How bad do you actually want it? Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit that notification bell and engage, 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 y'all. We do have a giveaway for that. With all that being said, I hope you gained some very valuable information from this video. I love y'all. God loves y'all.